All right, so we're ready for the words of encouragement. It's the first time for 2014. Are you ready? Are you not ready? Just one minute. One minute. She told me one minute. She's giving me sign language on the radio. You guys should be seeing this. <laughs> All right, we're coming just now. All right, so are you ready now? Yes, I am ready. All right, good evening. How are you doing? <laughs> I am doing wonderful. I'm blessed. And highly favored, right? Amen. And you mean it, right? Yes, I do. We know we're blessed by Jesus Christ. All right, so guys, my wife going to take it away. Okay, good evening to all. Um, this afternoon, um, our reading is based on um, the armor of God. And um, first, before I start with the actual reading i just want to say that you know many times we read the scripture and then we we extract i would say pull out or select some and we leave the rest but um when i read this part in the bible i found it to be very interesting and very very important because if we are about if we have to go to battle we have to go to a war we will be dressed, we'll equip ourselves, dressed with the proper guise that we will not be killed. But in the word of God, he's telling us there, God is telling us there, that we have to put the whole armor. We cannot put our skirt and don't put our blouse. Nor can we put skirt and blouse and don't put our shoes. Um, we put everything on. We dress completely. So with God, he's asking to put the whole armor and we have to do that. Just that. Pull the, put the whole armor. I'm sorry. Okay. When we become children of God, we not only inherit God's blessing, but God's enemy as well. The Lord's foremost enemy is Satan whose purpose is to destroy his work, which you could read in John 8, 44. But Jesus comes in order to destroy the works of the devil in 1 John 3, 8. We'll explain this to you. Satan is a fallen angel, Isaiah 14, 12, 15. And as such, is only a created being. He didn't create anything. He was created. He is in no way equal to God, the creator. God is the creator. While Satan is superior in intellect and strength, he's very intelligent and he is strong. But he is not inferior. He is just He's, he's not, sorry, he is not superior. He's just inferior. So, he is inferior to God in every single way. You think about it, and he is inferior to that. Believers have the power of the indwelling resurrection, Christ, resurrected Christ over them and protecting them. 1 John 4, 4. In addition, believers have been given the whole armor of God to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians 6, 12 explains this. Each piece of the armor is to be put on to help believers overcome the temptation and attack of the evil one. Number one, having girded your waist with, through, with truth, which is in verse 14. The waist or abdomen area was generally thought to be, uh, be the seat of emotions. To gird this area with the truth is to commit your emotions to believe the truth. To believe the truth. Often, a person knowingly allows his or herself to believe a lie because of fear or self-pity. Believers must have a commitment to truth regardless of repercussions. No matter what is going to happen as believers, you must be committed 
to truth. And you can read this in John 8, 32 through 36. The second one, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, Ephesians 6, 14. The breast is generally thought of as the place of the soul, the heart, must be kept pure and righteous because sin gives a foothold to the enemy. Confession and forgiveness on the basis of the blood of Christ cleanse the heart. 1 John 9, number 3. Having shoed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, Ephesians six fifteen, proper shoes enable the feet to go from place to place. The believer is to be is to be about her or his father's business, which is to spread the gospel of peace and reconciliation. An undaunted sense of this mission keeps the believer headed in the right direction matthew 28 19 20. number four taking the shield of faith ephesians 6 16. the wicked one is the accuser of the brethren revelation 12 10 and will send his fiery darts to instill doubt fear and guilt Faith acts as an invisible shield that deflates such false accusation. Hebrews 11, 6. Number five. Take the helmet of salvation. Ephesians 6, 17. A helmet protects the head, that is, the brain and thoughts. Assurance of salvation is a mighty defense against doubt and insecurity and the kinds of works bred by them. 1 John 5, 11 to 13. Number six, take the sword of the spirit, Ephesians 6, 17, which is the word of God. The only offensive weapon in this armor was used by the Lord himself, Jesus, against Satan. Luke 4, 13. The living word is powerful, effective, and instructive, which you could read in Hebrew 4.12 to Timothy 3.16.17. Number seven, praying always, not sometimes, not when you feel like it, but praying always. Ephesians 6.18, prayer opens the channels between us and God. In the midst of the battle, we as believers must keep in constant communication with our leader for directions and encouragement. Our prayer for one another are important and effectual. James 5.16 These are the armor that we have to put on. My brothers and sisters in Christ, believers, those of you who are coming in and joining us, this battle is not a battle that is easy. We have to protect ourselves from head to toe. We have to put the full armor. Don't leave part of the armor. Put on the whole armor of God. Thank you so much for listening. You have a blessed and wonderful night. Wow. The whole armor of God, indeed, and that's my wife coming with that damn. And it it, it sounds it sound like it's a, it's a physical application. Is it a physical application? Should I go buy some armor and boots and stuff? <laughs> no, it's it, it's not physical. It, it's it's spiritual. It is spiritual. So it's a spirit. It's just it songs that in way. In the but spirit, it songs that way. It's just to make you understand it. What the armor means. What the armor means. And you give the description of the various, what is the boats and what is the yes. sword and everything is the word is the sword, right? Yes, the word of God, that's the sword that you are holding. If you don't have a sword, what are you going to fight with? Mm. If the person comes with their sword, what are you going to hold your hands to block the sword? You must have your own sword. 
Right. Amen. All right. So thank you for that indeed. So we, we, we have a winner for this evening. The time is wow. Yes, the time we is do. Fast spent. Um we definitely have a winner. Um the winner here is um Early. no other than um Wilbert Michel. Wilbert Michel That's indeed. Correct. I mean she was strong. Yes. She was on fire. You know, Wilbert Michel was one of the um the the, the, Contestant. the contestants in the in the in the grand final that was held on um um New Year's <laughs> New, Year? New Year's New, New um the Sunday before. yeah this last Sunday right yes that was last Sunday and and she was really mighty and powerful and I guess she gave the the people who called up as probably new first time listeners an idea as to what we're looking for absolutely the way yes. the way we should come across and the way we should song because some readers just like they just read it like just reading and we I, we definitely noticed that some of the readers who read today they really don't know they have not heard of the criteria for the sam's reading and i do hope that you guys did pay attention because the next time if you guys gonna call there is a criteria which of course um like my husband said your full name where you worship and we judge on power we judge on peace pitch your grammar your pauses and you must end with this is the word of the lord must end in this so um if you didn't know it before now you know it you don't have an excuse for the next definitely time. indeed and we had some great um callers and the men that's called really i mean that was impressive yes you know two men call and was really strong and the very. last one was very very strong the last man that called was very very strong and a young lady called she was sounding very low but she have some potential yes and each and everybody who call have potential you know what i mean they they sound like they love to read and they can read but what is important is that when you bring it on like i was saying over the show many people might come with it but they didn't give us they really deliverance we didn't, you, have yeah, to yeah, deliver. you have to deliver the goods you bring it with you but if you keep it with you then you still didn't you give have it to, to us. deliver you have to they send you to make a message go and deliver it when you get on the phone deliver it let it go let it go exalt the word of god and you know what i really you know want to say you know there should be something in in a person when they call to read the word of god there should be some kind of excitement there should be a, some kind of passion about it it shouldn't be just read like a just a, like a regular book it should be read with some kind of enthusiasm some kind of life something like like you believe in what you're reading you know and believers this is something that we have to adopt as as christian who follow in christ we gotta believe and act like we believe in what we what we believe you know what i mean yeah baby yeah three more minutes oh okay well she was telling me time you know so <laughs> the next present day is coming up so we thank everybody for listening to choice radio we thank you guys for praying for us man because we got saved we were out in the world and we got saved and jesus saved us man and we know where we were and we started this program late because in the studio we were talking to a young lady out in the you know in the studio when before we came in the studio we were talking to a young lady and many people take it personal when they look at people who are supposed to be Christian and is not living at a Christian standard. But guess what? That would not cut it for God. Your life is an individual thing. Your life is personal. Your life will have nothing to do with nobody. Because you could look at somebody and feel they're not living right. And they could go home, pray to God, ask for forgiveness. And is on their way to heaven while you still continuing to watch them and look at them, look down on them and think that they're not living right and they're not living holy. And now you are the one that have to fix yourself. So it's important that we understand this life is personal. This is an individual thing. This is not about husband and wife and you trying to tell your husband he's not living right or telling your wife she's not living right or telling your children they're not living right. You got to make sure you get it right. This is a personal thing. It's personal. Once you're at the age of consent, this is a personal story. Don't get caught up with people. Some people say, oh, I'm not going to church because church people this and church people that. Well, I want to know if you're going to tell God that. I never came because pastor does this and pastor this and people that. No, no, no. This is an individual thing. Get it in your cranium. Get it in your head. Get it in your soul. Get it in your spirit. So if you're listening to the radio and you're not saved and you're not going to church or you're not seeking God because people like me on the radio, oh, I only play in a holy. Nah, don't worry. Don't watch me. Watch you. Watch your life. 
Glory to the name of Jesus. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity you have given us that we can come and exalt your name. We can come and lift your name. We can come and invite people to get to know you. Father God, because we know you can save. You saved us, and this is why we have the proof with us that we want to share with the entire world that you are great. You are mighty. You are King of kings and you are Lord of lords. Glory to your name, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name. All right, so the next presenter is in the building. Happy New Year to you, man. All right. So keep it locked for Brother Philip. We love you in Jesus' name. Will, Will but Michelle. Congratulations. And all the callers, congratulations. Good night. Bye.